Get in the car, go and have dinner. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I love you the most. <laughs>
um, and clutch and purses for special that. events. So I just really expect Ida to just literally come in her undergarments into my private lair. And we, <laughs> you know, literally we have, oh, come over here, I want to show you this. This is what we're doing. We custom bejeweling boots with all these miniature Swarovski crystals. So that could give you a bit of a, an idea of where we're going. And if you look over here, these are some of the, this is all custom hand beaded cloth that we've had made. We've got s four meters of this. And there's something like 40,000 Swarovski crystals on this. So these are very, very special items. But then when we come back and we see these just everything needs to have a tiny bit of sparkle we have to be i have to retain it as amazing coolness and edginess and freshness and um, viva uh, viv vivacity yes um <laughs> and so it can't be too structured it has to really have a beautiful softness to it and a carefree oh there's some beautiful pieces that we have so a lot of these elements are hand custom beaded, but then we just, we throw in some beautiful, oh, there's some beautiful Australian designers. So these are uh, silk jersey dresses, yeah, so they're great. New York, Paris, Valletta, we are loving it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it too, and can I tell you, it's, it's been so exciting just spending so much time with Ida. We've become really great buddies now, and Ida doesn't mean Australian accent. Will you ever um, try to do that? Get in the car, go and have dinner. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I love it a lot. Because she reminds me of Sydney. <laughs> now, era, comfort is obviously important for someone like yourself in the spotlight, on the red carpet. Does he consider your needs as a woman? Definitely, yes. I mean, I think that Alex um, finds it more important, most of all, to, to know that I'm comfortable um, with what I'm wearing um, and that I look stylish at the same time. But um, comfort is definitely the top of our list yeah. because that means that I will be performing um, to my best capabilities mm -hmm. if he has me in something that I can move comfortably in. Um, heels have never been an issue. I can do anything. We, we in heels. never, yeah. The heels. You, you can stand on heels that are the height of a ladder, and you're great. I, I think the <laughs> you've seen me dance with with Scorpion and with Stefan in my heels. So. We can show you an example of the height of those heels. <laughs> oh, that's big. <laughs> I know. It's amazing. I think also with with Ida, at first. I, I I needed to to uh, to bring along to Malta mm -hmm. quite a number of different options because we were just getting to know each other. And when you're first meeting someone, you sort of tend to sort of you make straight one way or another way, and then we instantly understood that it uh, Ida's look is is secondary to comfort and her be feeling happy. Even though, of course, for me, it's paramount. But I, I as as the brief evolved. I now I cannot even second guess. I had I have literally have brought two full suitcases of additional clothing, and we edited them right down. But I now know I just say that's either that's not either that's either that's it. So when we're really in this very defined, fantastic headspace, I'm always I'm always following. I know exactly what she's going to wear, <laughs> what she likes, which I love. And does Malta's proximity to Italy affect your fashion? Do you consider yourself an Italian enthusiast? Um, I love Italian fashion, but um, I like to keep it a bit unique. But yes, I love Italian fashion. And yes, I imagine that being so close, you know, um, we have a lot of that influence. I mean, we, we have that influence in our food and in our personality, so why not in our fashion? You don't eat pasta. I love it, but yes, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and what about Maltese? Is there anything particularly Maltese about your wardrobe? Um, no, I, I don't think that there is um, an actual Maltese fashion influence. We do have a really beautiful traditional costume called the Onnella, but I think that's a bit past its um, due date now. Yes. It's still beautiful, but... Yes, but there's no traditional costumes no. involved in this. No, <laughs> no flags made into ponchos, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but we are, I mean, Malta for me is, it, because of the, it's 
an amazing landscape, but it's also really warm. It's yes, it's, it's, it's it inspirational. Feels, so it's very resort. Yes. So I think just naturally being on an amazing coastline, it's about health, it's about feeling comfortable, it's just a much more relaxed, it's not so stitched up. So mm -hmm. I think that, that that's expressing that through fashion, expressing that through the styling is very, very important. Yeah. Um, even you, I see certain other countries, uh, it's very tile, very really over except So we just find some beautiful key things and, and create like a beautiful palette of water that has some surface texture, some colors, some density of color. And I think it speaks for itself. There's some just really beautiful elements and they're quite simple. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much so. Yeah. Eurovision obviously has 42 participating countries this year and you want to stand out. Did the fact you were coming to Eurovision impact what you chose? Um, so there are 42. I thought, I thought there was only one country performing at Eurovision, which is Malta, actually. <laughs> well, I don't really, I've not actually seen anyone else, to be honest. Um, you know, it's, I think it's important to understand the competition. I think it's also very, very important to to believe that we are a world-class team. The, the, the creative team and the, dele the delegation are committed as a family, but also committed to the strength of the creativity. So from an incredible vocal spirit in Ida to an incredible songwriting, to incredible production values and insane styling, <laughs> um, I really believe with the performance of Scorpion, the creative direction of Stefan Bocco, who has such incredible accolades around the world, and with Ida, which is a really amazing winning combination. And you work with so many A-listers, Lady Gaga, Prince... Uh, Ida Losko. Absolutely. <laughs> How does Ira compare to these other names? It's really interesting. The, the further you progress in your career, the more chilled, relaxed, comfortable about yourself you become the people that i've worked with in the past that are in their first stages of success are very demanding not not always but there's a tendency to be that and i think it falls into the the chilled i know myself i'm really comfortable with who i am instead of like i want this i want that so to me it's a pleasure it's almost like dressing or actually finding things. When I go through all the stores, all the couturiers and, and the PR companies sending me all the garments, I know exactly what it is. It's just so when you have that connection, that's big, that's, it's like con having that connection with a substantial creative talent. Not someone that's very demanding or wanting the most ridiculous things. It is just very cool. So Checks in the mail, Alex. Uh, yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah, no, 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 it's true. It's absolutely true. And, you know, working with people like Kylie or working with the late and great Prince who were very humble and very um, affable and they just loved connection. And I think why I believe that I work so hard and, and maintain such very great relationships with my clients is that I really develop a strong bond with them and I, I know them and I will never ever ever allow them to leave my space not looking the best they could ever look. And he I never... can confirm that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, confirm I love that. that. He's great. <laughs> He's great at what he does, um, he understands me perfectly, you know, we've, we haven't known each other for that long. No, it's true. But um, for the limited amount of time that we've known each other, I think we have a really great working relationship and he understands my style completely and he makes sure that I'm very comfortable and that I look amazing as well in the process. And I'm not scared to go, uh-uh, yeah, like that off. that's true. Yeah, wow. because sometimes... When you've come, well, we to, both do that. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, no, no. And then you're like, and you open your room, and you're like, "How about this?" I'm like, "Get it off." And then and, sometimes I, we look into the mirror together, and like, mm, take it off. Yeah. But I think it's important to know that because sometimes you find that you have a personal favorite thing, like an accessory or something, and you're just so used to wearing it, and when you wear it, it. it may not work with that particular outfit and that's why I have to be all about detail and it's almost I'm kind of very fastidious I mean look at that it's like a shop 
I mean, it's, like, it's so ridiculous. Everything is lined up. It has to be because I, when Ida comes in here, I wanted to go, wow, and just covet thing. I want that. I really love that and really connect with it. It's not just a bag of jewelry that some stylists pull out and go try that on. We display it so we really get that everything is precious, everything is special. You know, and the other thing is, a lot of these things are custom. So we're creating very, very beautiful, unique pieces. In fact, the one small amount of information I can tell you about the stage show is that there's a, quite a number of very, very dedicated people working behind the scenes to create that, that experience. And that experience is, on a stylistic level, it's something that, it's a very, very proud moment for me. I'm very, very proud to be involved in that. So, to me, it's this is a joy. And Ira, if you had anything to say to your dear friend here, what would it be? You can let loose. This <laughs> is your opportunity. I would like to thank him from the bottom of my heart for coming here twice, all the way, all the way to Malta first from Australia, because I know it's a long way away. And um, I'd like to thank him for understanding me and for giving me all his time and dedication. And, and pretending uh, I didn't have jet lag when you're <laughs> like, have you got jet lag? I'm like, no, no. As Ira walks out of the room and I'm like, <laughs> and then I pick myself up and go, hi, Ira. Uh, thank you. So and, and, and for being such a positive energy in the creative team, because he had a lot of very, very hard work to do. And it was like continuous, you know? Yeah. <laughs> last Never week, ending. last week, it was, <laughs> he sat there saying, you know, if I had to just do this dress for you, I'd be sitting here having a fag and saying <laughs> like, um, I'm relaxing now, but it wasn't like that no. at all. It was tw it was almost like 18 hour days of just really de dedicated work because as you know my motto has always been no surprises so you need to really really go to town early do the pre-production and then when we're here we just find yeah. styling and and what I can say is that my mind is completely at rest and I think that is really important to every artist especially in such a big competition as this, as the Eurovision Song Contest. So that is like, you know, key. That's beautiful. <laughs> what beautiful things to say. Are you tearing up? No. But, <laughs> but I feel nice. She's walking on water and looking fabulous. Ira Lasko, thank you so much. Alex, oh, we love you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>